think much of economics does indeed serve a common good and does help society in the sense that it provides conceptual frameworks and uh, data and empirical analysis um, to look at real world phenomena, to understand real world phenomena better. Perhaps we should ask the question, what does society really want? Many things you would say. Society wants public services like infrastructure, education. Society also wants those things to be reasonably priced. And they want the supply to be flexible, to be innovative, and to be efficient. Economics uh, play a role in society. It provides a useful framework. But I think it will be difficult to say that uh, there is the so-called the one-size-fits-all for everything. And it serves a common goods. Yes, it does uh, in some of the issues. But in other issues, we probably have to look at, you know, uh, uh, this issue more carefully, not only from the economic perspective, but also from uh, other uh, perspectives. Yo vengo del campo de los derechos humanos y en los derechos humanos esta tensión está resuelta. No hay un derecho humano que prevalezca sobre el otro. Entonces la economía no puede prevalecer sobre la salud y tenemos regulados los derechos económicos también. Con esto quiero decir de que estas tensiones y estas lógicas diferenciales son las que deberíamos revisar fuertemente y la disciplina económica es la primera que debe estar liderando esta discusión. Economics is really very, very central uh, to discussions of the of the public good, um, and it's 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 central as a way of aggregating lots and lots of individual decisions. Um, and so, you know, in many ways, it's a science of the interaction of lots of people in a big society, and the outcome of those interactions may sometimes produce the public good. Uh, but may sometimes be dysfunctional as well. It's common good. It's uh, so good example is like vaccine or max mask. We have economics called public economics or economics of externalities. Yeah, mask wearers think it's not a private choice, but it affects others and could be serious consequences. So learning some kind of external peace theory in public finance or economic theory would help people to wear masks. But in this matter, there are many tragedies of not understanding the simple facts. Uh, I would define commons as your access to clean water, clean soil and clean air. It has not featured a lot in theory. It has not featured in, in, in even in our policy making. And you could wonder why, why would that be? Why would it, it that we make so much abs uh, abstraction of these commons? It is because commons don't have a voice. They don't have a representation. We uh, actually use our commons for short-term profit. It's a, a minority of, 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 of research results that are really, uh, uh, you know, going in the direction of, uh, of serving the, the, common, the common good. I think that rather than thinking about having this huge innovation, this radical innovation, uh, we should be more humble in this respect and think about uh, small incremental innovation, uh, looking very carefully at uh, the issues, looking very carefully at to the policies, at the details, at the institutional uh, features, and uh, providing small suggestions on how to slightly improve matters. If economics focuses on an optimization paradigm and focuses on a competitive world, a, a capitalist world, even allowing for imperfections and oligopoly and behavioral economics and so on, it's keeping us away from dealing with the reality that we have. Society is not composed of homo economicus. Ethics are a part of social life, as well as culture, intellectual values, 
family life, personal ambitions and relations, irrational feelings, etc. There are things that are not subject for economic economy itself, especially modern capitalist market economy, is very much dependent on moral constraints and public ethics to function smoothly and efficient and efficient. Some economists who would defend the existing discipline and approach would say, look at economic growth, uh, look at poverty reduction, which globally has been falling for decades. Um, look at health improvements. Uh, we're lost, look at life expectation. It's been uh, growing for, for centuries, two centuries now, uh, in very dramatic ways. And this is uh, spilling over to the whole planet. So obviously something's gone well. Well, 